Welcome to Good Foods. Well, we're, we're still switching. And this is for dinner. I'm just letting this before I add anything else. I'm letting the you know this scum come up to the top because I want to I want to clean that off and then continue. This is a pound of pinto beans, and it's actually going to um, work for a couple of meals. which is nice. They soaked for about eight to 10 hours in the least. Because you need to get rid of all of those enzyme inhibitors. And that's how you do it. I got most of it off. I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. And to this, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in some Green stock, green stock. Well, it is green stock. It's vegetables broth. So I'm gonna put that in. Now pinto beans um, aren't exactly mentioned on in the book. I looked up pinto beans. They have higher omega three than most other beans, including black beans and. Um, and lentils. I've got a pound of pintos and um, to those you, know, you want to season beans really well or they're going to be bland. You're not going to have a, a meat stock for this and the vegetable stock does some good but it, it just doesn't take it enough. You need seasoning in beans. So to the beans I've got them on medium high. I'm um, going to let them boil. Then I'm going to turn them down to like a three. Um, so just keep an eye. Make sure that it's it's cooking. I don't know. Everybody's different, but you want a low. You know, you want a good little simmer going, where it's got a little rolling boil, but not you know a a high. Now you see, this is a, a tablespoon near about, and this is. Uh, time. Really, beans love time. And they also love oregano, or if you're British, oregano. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a tablespoon. It need, the beans need help. I'm going to give them some help. And the same thing, beans, all beans, love cumin. It is just a really good seasoning for beans. And if you put nothing else in, put some cumin. You'll thank me. Now, salt. And I've heard there's a wise tale, or whatever, that if you put salt in it, beans, before they're done, that it will make them hard. That's not what makes beans hard. What makes beans hard is it's the second batch of beans. In other words, you have the first growth, which are the tender and um, most flavorful of the um, uh, any vegetable and beans included. And then it will continue growing beans and whatever, and you have the second. The second has much less flavor and it also does not cook well. And it's all, but you, so stay away. So I put about, uh, here I'm putting about a half a tablespoon or around two teaspoons. That's actually half a tablespoon is one and a half teaspoons. That's what I was going for. I'm chopping up some garlic. I know you can't see it. That's what I'm doing. And if you don't have garlic, now some people don't like it as much as we do. So don't put it in or don't put as much as I'm putting in. I'm putting in a lot. But if you don't have fresh garlic, 
then just put garlic powder. You want to put a, a tablespoon of garlic powder, at least. Now I'm also going to put about two teaspoons of ground pepper. Black pepper. Might have been a little more. That's okay. One thing about soaking your beans, um, you'll find that it doesn't take them near as long to cook. These will cook with it within around about 45 minutes. It depends on the bean, really. Great Northerns, those, they, they take a lot longer to cook than other beans. It's a little bean, I never understood that, but that's what I found out. That's my experience, and I can only go by my experience. So anyway, there you go. So this, what I'm doing here is I, I had large clothes, and a couple of them had, uh, one of them had a wormhole, and one of them had just, um, it just didn't look right, so I cut it off. And that did go to our, our pigs. I don't know if the chickens will like it, or the turkeys won't eat anything unless it comes, they can, they can find it in the ground themselves, or it's their seed. At least ours won't. They just won't eat it. So I'm gonna give it a stir. And I'm gonna give this a slight cover. I'm gonna leave it up until I get a, a boil. Then I'm gonna stir it again, turn it down, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let it, let the steam escape, and but just cover it slightly, and I'll see you in 45 minutes or so when they're done.
Put in my beans. Supper tonight. I'm gonna try to plate with the other. Okay, Bob's getting all chefy on me. <laughs> if you like the video, press the thumb. Give share. us a like. Share. Yes, do share. And um, subscribe if you want to see more. Plus, ring that bell. Until the next time. Jan and Bob, goodbye.